Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take this 2016 Nissan Leaf on a range test and we're going to do it in the worst possible conditions and we're going to drive it in the worst possible way. So <laughs> let me explain. So first of all, the outdoor temperature is minus 28 degrees Celsius, which is around uh, minus 18 Fahrenheit. I charged up the car yesterday and uh, when it was done charging, I put it outside. So it sat outside overnight in the cold. And what we're going to be doing today is driving it on the highway at 100 kilometers per hour or 62 miles per hour, uh, which is worst case scenario. Electric vehicles prefer to drive in the city at slower speeds. So we've got, uh, and also they lose uh, some of their battery capacity when it is cold outside. So let's see how far it's going to go. The 2016 Nissan Leaf, and it has the smaller battery pack, the 24 kilowatt hour battery pack. There was an optional 30 during that year, but this one has the 24. Okay, let's go. Okay, so we're starting out with a completely frozen car here. So let's switch it on and get ready to go. Okay, so the car believes it's around minus 27, which sounds about right. That's um, around um, minus uh, 18 or so Fahrenheit. And it's, that's, oh, my, my door is still open. Estimating we've got 106 kilometers, which is completely incorrect. And 100% uh, battery charge. I uh, charged it up yesterday put it outside and left it outside overnight. Okay, I'm gonna switch on our climate control system here, put it up to 20. Normally I have it on 18, honestly, um, because I'm wearing a thick winter jacket, but I'll switch it to 20 for this test for worst case scenario. Then I've got my heated seat turned on high and I've also got my heated steering wheel turned on as well. So uh, we've got all the heat and comfort turned on. I've got a little light on the dash there about my low tire pressure. <laughs> Yesterday it was not on, um, but I'm sure it's just because uh, it's so cold, the tire pressure's dropped. So so this is what we're starting with. Oh, and I see now that I've switched the uh, uh, heat on, it's down to 86 kilometers estimated range. I'm going to reset our trip odometer there <clears throat> so we can see what our range is uh, on this test. And I'm going to also switch our energy economy. I'm going to reset this as well. There we go. Okay. So now we can uh, keep track of the data as we go on our trip. So let's head out. Okay, first major update here. We're at 75% now, stated charge. We've used 25% of the battery, according to the dashboard. And we've got 11.2 kilometers. So if we just extrapolate that out, it means we'll probably go around 44 kilometers on a full charge. <clears throat> Although that might not be totally correct because we did start out with a dead cold uh, vehicle and we've had uh, every heating device on. We've had the a heated steering wheel, a heated seat, and also we've still got our instrument cluster set to 20 degrees Celsius or 70 Fahrenheit. Uh, temperature is still minus 28 degrees Celsius. So, um, you know, uh, that's where we are after the first quarter. Let's keep going and see where we get. Okay, it's our 50% update. We're up to 23.3 kilometers and the temperature is still minus 28. So we'll just keep on going. Nice and warm in here though. <laughs> it's set to 20, so it's, uh, it's warmer than I would normally have it, but just for purposes of this experiment, I'll do that. And also, uh, have you ever heard of this thing called sun dogs? Um, that's something we get here in Canada. 
if you look there to the left side of the sun. Let's see if I can open this window. Yeah, there's uh, Sun Dog. This is uh, sort of a mini rainbow beside the sun. There's one on either side, and those are caused by ice crystals in the air when it's uh, super cold. So uh, in summer we get rainbows, and in winters we get sun dogs. Okay, let's keep on going. update I missed 25% it's already popped down to 20 it really seemed to drop pretty quickly uh, it still says we got three bars left on the battery uh, meter and we're at 33.9 kilometers and yeah minus 28 still so um, yeah so let's keep monitoring this I know that when you get down to a low level uh, charge like this the battery percentage really gets pessimistic so I feel like we've got a little bit more power in there than it's really showing us but uh, let's keep going see how far we can go just a little update here at the nine percent mark I know pretty soon those that nine is gonna turn into a bunch of dashes it's not gonna show me an actual number anymore but anyway that's where we're at at nine percent Got a blinking eight kilometer range estimate, and yeah, let's keep going. Okay, we're down to the point where now it says we have zero range left, we have zero battery bars left, and we have zero percent on the uh, percentage on the battery got to 45.9 kilometers so I think this is where the normal person would stop and park the car and recharge it but I'm gonna push it a little bit further see how much further we can go and uh, still got the heat on 20 degrees still got the heated seat still got the heated steering wheel we'll keep on going a little bit further here and, and see how much more we can get out of the car but we're almost to the end Okay, final report. We got to 52 kilometers. The battery is completely out of power. And you can see here, um, right up here, these little bubbles along here, that's your power bubbles. When it's double bubble, that means you can still uh, power your motor up to that high. But you can see these ones here are now singles. So that means it's limiting your power. You can only maximize your power up to this level. So that's another way to see how far you can push your battery to the very end. And um, in this case, um, you know, it's starting to limit the power now. So I know we're getting really close to the end of the battery. So that's our result, 52 kilometers. I forgot to mention also our battery uh, average efficiency here was 3.4 kilometers per kilowatt hour. So I'll have the conversion here on the screen to miles per kilowatt hour. But uh, yeah, for sure in the winter, it's drawing a lot of power. And then of course, when we're driving at highway speed, it's also drawing a lot of power. So that was our energy efficiency result from this as well. Okay, so that's the result of our test here today. We took our 24 kilowatt hour 2016 Nissan Leaf when we put it through the worst possible scenario. We're driving it on the highway. We're driving it in the winter and it's not just a little bit cold winter. It's minus 28 Celsius or minus 18 Fahrenheit winter. We left it outside overnight so it could deep freeze and for sure it was definitely frozen when I got to it this morning. And then we set the interior climate to a very comfortable 20 degrees Celsius. Even I wouldn't put it that high with this thick jacket on. I always put it to 18 uh, because that's plenty warm. 
and I put the heated seats on, I put the heated steering wheel on, and we drove at 100 kilometers per hour, 62 miles per hour. So everything was drawing as much power possible from the batteries. We still got 52 kilometers, so that's just over 30 miles, which isn't very far. But again, this is worst case scenario. So if you are driving in a warmer climate, if you're driving in the city, you're going, all of those factors will cause you to get a higher amount of range out of the vehicle. So hopefully you enjoyed this little range experiment I did with the car. If you found this video interesting or informative, I'd appreciate a thumbs up and also consider subscribing for future videos. Also, you can check out my channel. I've got quite a few other commuting videos where I'm commuting to work in temperatures that are even colder than this. So feel free to check those out. Thanks for watching and have a great day.